Good Friday morning to you. Here we are in the middle of a winter weather event, a winter storm warning, or what we like to used to call it in the Midwest, a snow apocalypse. Really, isn't that how it feels, right? When we aren't quite sure what the weather will bring, when we're worried about the significance of snow or ice, when we're canceling plans and, and making quick and somewhat last minute changes, doesn't it feel like our world is ending? The reality is though, most of life is unexpected. There's very few things in life that we can truly plan for, expect, and everything turns out the way we imagined. I don't know about you, but that's certainly my life, and I try to do a really good job of helping God, and yet still, I find myself often completely on a different path, a different journey, or even headed in a different direction that I might otherwise have planned. And sometimes, the only thing we can do is wake up and enjoy the day. I, that's what I'm doing today. I'm waking up and enjoying what Friday has to offer. In the background is a crackling fire, and I hope that throughout the day, I not only can finish the tasks that I had planned for my work week, but also curl up with a good book in a warm house. It's days like this when my schedule changes and what I intended to do completely falls apart that I find myself remarkably grateful. Grateful for a warm house, grateful for electricity and heating, grateful for the opportunity to be still. Sometimes I think the greatest gift that God gives us isn't the fact that things change beyond our planning, but an opportunity to find gratitude in that change. And that is a gift, isn't it? It is a gift when we see that God's in the midst of the things that we least expect and blessing us and caring for us all the same. This has me turning to Psalm 136. I just want to read the first nine verses. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who alone does great wonders, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who by the understanding made the heavens, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who spread out the earth and the waters, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who made the great lights, for his steadfast love endures forever. The sun to rule over the day for his steadfast love endures forever. The moon and stars to rule over the night, for his steadfast love endures forever. We celebrate the God of creation, who made all things, who formed this great and glorious kingdom we call earth, heaven on earth as we pray so often. We thank God for how he is at work in the struggles and the hardships how he's the center of our joys and celebrations. Today, we have an opportunity to pause, to think about how God is at work and how we can sing with the psalmist the refrain, his steadfast love endures forever. So if you find yourself having an unexpected snow day, his steadfast love endures forever. If you find yourself not having to drive across town or having the opportunity to reschedule things when the roads might be more safe, his steadfast love endures forever. If you have a crackling fire, a good book, a family, or even an opportunity to make a phone call that you haven't had the time to make, his steadfast love endures forever. Today at chapel for the school, I should be teaching a lesson on contentment. That's what our kids have been focusing on, a character trait, a virtue of contentment. What does it mean to celebrate contentment as part of faith? To appreciate all that God has provided. To not focus on wants or desires, but to be thankful, grateful, and blessed all the same. Maybe today would have been a great day to celebrate with the kids his steadfast love endures forever with all of the things that they should have been learning and all of the experiences that they should have been doing. And yet, even if they're not meeting in person today, the gift is all the same. As kids are home with families, 
as they're expecting what next week might bring, as they're just thankful to have a pause and maybe even play out in the snow or slip around on the ice a little bit, we can all rejoice together. His steadfast love endures forever. Because that's what faith does for us. Faith reminds us that when things are exactly how they hoped we hoped they might be, we can rejoice as steadfast love endures forever. And when life has taken a turn and things are not as we expected or might desire, faith reminds us to give glory to God, to see God at work in all of it. And the refrain is the same, his steadfast love endures forever. So I hope on this Friday, whatever your day looks like, whatever changes need to be made, whatever pauses you might have occurring, I hope that you too can sing with me, his steadfast love endures forever. Have a great weekend.